Hey friends, it's Mike. It's Sunday, November 17th, 2019, and just before 4 p.m. here on the East Coast. Uh, just an update to let everybody know where I'm at with the presentation. Did the Beatles write all of their own music? Again, I'm not saying the Beatles were the monkeys. I'm asking whether the Beatles wrote all of their own music. And uh, I'm shooting now for the end of December. So I'm delayed about 30 to 45 days. And the reason for that is because, um, number one, I was saying in the last update, going back to earlier this month, that I was going through the anthology discs, and I am, and it's taking longer than I had expected, okay? So there, there are nuggets and uh, tidbits in, uh, in the anthology discs that I think are pertinent to the presentation. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going through that with a fine tooth comb. The other thing is uh, I wanted to go through this documentary. It's The Complete Beatles. And this was a documentary that was done back, I believe it was the early 1990s. And so this is my copy on DVD. It originally came out on VHS. And um, what a lot of people don't know, and I did, but I didn't think it was going to happen to this disc, is that um, CDs and DVDs, can uh, lose their uh, their quality. So they become, I guess they get bad sectors or, or whatever. And um, so the point being is they don't last forever. And so I started to watch this, you know, because I, I watched it a couple of times going back many years ago. And I thought, you know, I remember a lot of really uh, good discussion and interviewing in uh, that particular disc, especially with George Martin and let me go back and listen. And I'll do the same thing with that as I'm doing with Anthology. And I got like five minutes into it and the DVD player was having trouble reading. I tried to recode the disc. I have software to do this to see if I can get past any you know, bad sectors and have them remapped. No good, no good. So I ended up uh, finding a copy, a DVD, on the internet that I bought. Um, it's not easy to find these days. You can find the old VHS tape, but I wanted the DVD. And um, so I'm hoping to get it within the next week or two. So at the very least, that's a two week delay right there because I really do want to go uh, through the complete Beatles. All right, so that's, that's one of the reasons why this is taking so long. Um, let me see. the. Uh, all of the submissions from the team members that are helping me with this are in. I received the last one a couple days ago, a few days ago, and it's superb. So the person who did this work did a numerology and gematria look at one of the Beatles uh, albums and uh, the dates involved. Very, very telling. And um, the person who did this is not Richard Balducci because uh, some folks might assume it is Richard if I'm talking about numerology and gematria, and it is not. Um, I did not have a, a segment in the presentation that was going to deal with that. Um, I have spoken about the numbers in numerology in uh, some of the other presentations, but uh, what this team member sent in was, was so good that I'm just basically going to bring it in uh, with a couple of adjustments here and there. And... Uh, and show you guys the work that this person did. Uh, it's, it's excellent. Now, sometimes I get asked by people who are really irked by the whole Paul is dead uh, research deal and uh, the McCartney conspiracy, meaning irked, meaning, you know, Paul is alive. They just don't want to know anything about the possibility that they have been watching an imposter for the last 53 years. And, uh, and a lot of times I'll get these, uh, these nasty grams and they will say, you know, you always say uh, these team members, but you don't say who they are. And you need to say who these people are. You need to tell us who these folks are. And um, what people who write things like this don't understand is you do not reveal your sources. Okay. If you reveal sources, what happens is you lose a source. And if you lose a source, you lose information. And the sources I have have very good information. They're very good researchers, okay? And I am not going to uh, to put anybody's name out there uh, to humor somebody who doesn't understand the process, okay? Uh, first of all, 
I want to protect the ability to have very good information come my way. I want to be able to continue that flow. The second thing is I don't want to subject any of these people to the nastiness that ensues with a very small segment of people who are really ugly and go into attack mode. Uh, these people are both uh, Paul is alive uh, folks, and they are also people within, unfortunately, the Paul is dead community who could be extremely nasty as well. The other thing is some of these folks, they're in the music business. And you can't talk about the McCartney conspiracy. You can't even murmur Paul is dead. Uh, they, they run the risk of uh, repercussion, you know. And so these folks uh, need to have uh, their uh, confidentiality in place. And I, I'm not going to ever put somebody in a compromising position like that. Never. Okay. So all I can tell you is these are good people. You can believe me or not believe me. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm going to put the presentation out anyway. Um, they are all people that have uh, decades of experience under their belt with regard to being songwriters, um, musicians, composers, and or arrangers. Some of them are all four. So there's a lot of experience under their belt and uh, there's a half dozen folks that are working with me on this. Okay, so, so to answer that question, why it is that uh, I don't talk about who these other folks are, um, those are the reasons, those three reasons. The closest I've come is uh, the Paul is Dead Roundtable and that was done with the permission of the participants uh, in that show. Okay, so if somebody says to me it's okay to let them know who I am, then that's okay. Richard Balducci is one of those people. When Richard first contacted me, uh, you know, he was sending me information and it was confidential. And then I asked Richard, I said, you know, I, I can't do justice to this like you can. He's feeding me a lot of information. I could put it together, but I'm not going to be able to get into the detail and talk about it the way you can, Richard. So would you consider coming on and doing a show? And Richard said yes. So if a source or a team member says, yeah, okay, you know, it's okay for people to know who I am, that's a different story. So in any case, um, I think that's all I have. I know I, I babbled on a little bit here. So the net of it is, the reason why I really wanted to do this video was to let everybody know that the, uh, the presentation, did the Beatles write all their own music, is looking like the tail end of, of December now. There's just too much information for me to get through, especially since I've got other things in life that I've, I've got to attend to. It's not the only thing that I'm doing. Um, okay, so bear with me. It will come out, and when it does come out, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. It'll, at, a, at the very least, it will be food for thought, and I will do it in a way that will allow you to decide whether the Beatles wrote all of their own music or not. Okay, have a great day and we'll talk soon.